OK, forget Prince William. Stand down, King Charles. We found a model royal in our own backyard. His royal bloodline goes back 300 generations. But it's his passion for sport that's brought him to our shores. And ladies, he's available. With youth on his side, striking good looks, an enormous net worth and the most luscious of locks, this could quite possibly be the world's most eligible bachelor, Padmanab Singh, the Maharaja of Jaipur, is down under. They call me all sorts of things. Friends of mine, family call me Pacho. You can call me Padmanab. The title would be the Maharaja of Jaipur. So you, you can take your pick, really. <laughs> So I picked Pacho. The 25-year-old carries the bloodline of an Indian royal family of Jaipur, a lineage that can be traced back more than 300 generations. His great-grandfather, Man Singh II, was the last ruling in the British Raj. So what is it like to be of royal blood in modern-day India? It's really um, something that I don't take lightly, something that is a huge privilege and honour for me to be able to represent our family. Although royal titles, princely pensions and privileges were officially cut off in 1971, royal families in India are still recognised and deeply respected. When Pacho's grandfather died in 2011, he was unofficially crowned the Maharaja of Jaipur at the tender age of 12. This was the period where things started to slowly change and now I was required to attend a lot of occasions, attend a lot of ceremonies. Since then, Pacho has carved out a name for himself on the catwalk, as a cover model and on the polo field, something which also runs in his family. My father, grandfather and great-grandfather have also been incredible polo players. My great-grandfather, rather, was the world's best player at that time and had won the Polo World Cup for the Jaipur Polo team. Polo, nicknamed the Game of Kings, is synonymous with royals. I was trying to avoid being hit by so many sticks. This is literally people throwing sticks around their heads, the horses ducking like this. I think I would not say it's a fancy sport. I think it's a logistically um, difficult sport to organise. But I do believe that um, we have finally come into an era for the sport where, um, where I think the one thing that truly matters is uh, your talent. These days, the talented player jumps at every opportunity to compete overseas and promote the sport he loves before he plays here at Windsor Polo Field in Sydney's northwest. If there's one side to my life that, that I um, feel extremely connected to, it's, I think it's polo. Um, the joy, the passion, the sense of fulfilment. His charisma, though, extends beyond the pitch. Amidst the echoes of history, Pacho, the modern Maharaja, blends tradition and contemporary appeal. Recently opening up part of the family's 300-year-old city palace on Airbnb. The enormous marble structure, his family home, in the heart of what's known as the Pink City. The Maharaja, working with painters, restored the intricate designs brushstroke by brushstroke. Here, his family greeted some of the biggest names, Jackie O, Oprah and Charles and Diana. But it's us Aussies he may just like best. Love when you guys go, good day, mate. <laughs> out, out of all the accents from around the world, if there is one that actually stands out for me or is that my favourite, I'd say it's the Aussie accent. No. Um, absolutely. This Sunday, the Maharaja will grace the Windsor Polo Club field for a tough contest. The Indians are confident against an Australian team. Doesn't matter what team I'm playing or what team we are playing, we Indians have only thing which is called confidence. <laughs> we have so much. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. The Indian community have got behind it in, uh, in Sydney and it's so cool to have them here. The thing about Pacho is there is a warmness to him. As much as he is interesting, he's actually really down to earth. The ladies out there, the Aussie girls, are asking, are you single, are you available? Is there any chance that you'd be keeping an eye out for an Aussie girl? And for anyone who thinks they can win over this young king... You can come and find me at the polo ground on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they may just have a shot. Hey, will we say if Mary from Tassie can find her prince in a Sydney pub, 
then who knows what could happen at the polo in Western Sydney.